Hello, my name is Javier Orozco. I'm teaching material science at Universitat Politecnica de Valencia and within the course of ceramic technology through this nugget I will introduce glass ceramics. The learning objectives to consider as first uh, what are the basic principles and the fields of interest in glass ceramics. So we will define, see how they were first developed uh, a little bit by chance and their evolution since 1991 which is uh, giving us the most interesting application. Through this analysis we will understand the different types of glass ceramics and find their application fields. The basic constituents of glass ceramics are obviously the glass matrix and the different uh, crystals, the different crystalline materials which are uh, distributed evenly within the uh, matrix and which are a control in size and distribution for their uh, desired effect. So by controlling the position, size and distribution of these uh, crystals within the glass microstructure, you control the properties. The glass composition is uh, introducing uh, nucleators for developing uh, the matrix and the conditional nucleators which is, are related to the effect and the evolution of the microstructure. The crystal phases are uh, the critical elements uh, on its nature, size and distribution for finding the adequate properties. The microstructure control is uh, developed through a very good thermal process understanding, design and control for delivery. The first micro uh, glass ceramics were introduced by Stuckey in 1954, which a little bit by chance were uh, doing some experiments for photoactive materials. He found uh, different crystals with interesting properties specifically related to expansion. So the positioning of different crystals within the glass structure avoided expansion. So uh, when undergoing thermal cycles the, uh, there was no uh, expansion or contraction of the material. This was then developed and introduced for uh, basically uh, pyrex and related elements for a kitchen application. Later in 1974 the first new crystals were developed and the microstructure was best controlled as to the size distribution and the critical composition of the crystal for uh, finding how the big quartz is modified with different elements for controlling also electrical and other properties, not only the mechanical expansion. Later, the um, great development has been uh, when uh, avoiding the interaction of electrical fields through this control of the expansion for a uh, kitchenware and also the glasses used in modern ways of heating, like a glass ceramic uh, oven. Later, when we were adding other elements, we could control the semiconducting properties, the wear resistance, the shielding effect, the um, dur durability of the different elements, and through these crystal phases, we could uh, find other applications. Especially, are, it's important to understand how we can introduce crystals which relate uh, very good with the typical uh, ceramic products in our bones in order to develop bioceramics and uh, the same uh, basic uh, crystal element in our bones is introduced within the glass in order to perform a good matching and growth of uh, bio tissue and regeneration within the body. Later, we uh, have added uh, new processing like developing salt gel processes which can help us in controlling especially the size and distribution of these crystals and later in new nucleators which are adding other uh, atomic elements which can uh, develop a, a different effect with uh, the uh, electrical fields and also with uh, nuclear reactions. This is very important in order to avoid industrial waste because uh, when using silicates we can control also 
a good connection with nature which is completely neutral and also a cool together for example toxic or nuclear waste and uh, make it last for many many long years before uh, these materials are uh, capable of doing uh, any further harm. And finally with the new selenium and similar elements we can control semiconductors like LEDs or similar elements uh, related to uh, photo applications. And this is all that I want to say, just remember the first thermomechanical properties were the basis for glass ceramics. Now with new nucleons we have optical, chemical and electronic properties which are developing in, in a great deal the application of glass ceramics. Thank you very much for your attention.